when two people are dedicated to an idea. That is what happens when you cannot keep them down and when you cannot keep us silent. Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro are going to make another game. Now, right now, we don't know anything. There are no updates to be revealed. There is no news. All we know is... Guillermo del Toro did an interview with IGN in which he said that him and Kojima are still in touch and he loved working with him and they are planning a new project, but it's not Silent Hills. And that's fine. That doesn't matter. Obviously, Konami still owns the IP Silent Hill. So obviously, Kojima and del Toro can't just make a game and just call it Silent Hills. They can't do that. They would get sued up the ass. But what they can do is make another horror game that will carry over all of the ideas that they had for Silent Hills. Hell, they could incorporate a lot of the ideas from PT. The idea that this game is gonna play you instead of you playing the game. I mean, think about Psycho Mantis from Metal Gear Solid. That was Kojima. Psycho Mantis fucked with your head. He got into your head and he played with you like Lisa did, like that fucking fetus in the sink did. This is exactly what we needed. I mean, think about this. With Allison Road coming out next year, and now Kojima and Del Toro might actually make another game? The game that Silent Hills could have been? Do you realize what this means for horror as a genre? We could be seeing the start of a trend here, people. Real horror could be making a comeback. This entire situation, to me, draws a lot of comparison between what happened with Gearbox and Duke Nukem Forever, and then shortly after that, just a few years later, Shadow Warrior. Remember, Shadow Warrior was a phenomenal game, and it was by Gearbox. And years earlier, they made Duke Nukem Forever, which sucked ass. So, uh, Shadow Warrior easily could have been Duke Nukem Forever had Gearbox had more time to work on it. I mean, look at Borderlands. It's clear Gearbox knows how to make games. They just weren't given all the benefits that they needed to make a good game, so Duke Nukem Forever sucked. But they wanted to make a good game. So they made a remake or a reboot of Shadow Warrior, and it was awesome! Could you imagine if this happened? Imagine if Kojima and Del Toro said to Konami, You know what? Fuck you! You don't want to let us make our game? We'll make our own fucking game! We're gonna make the game that you won't let us make! I mean, I personally made a video a while ago saying that Kojima and Del Toro should get together again. Hell, get back Norman Reedus if you can! That'd be cool! A nice little slap in the face to Konami! Get all those guys back together. I said this should happen. They should all get back together and make the spiritual successor to Silent Hills. Now, some have said that that's what Allison wrote is. Chris Kessler has gone out saying that he doesn't think that's what it is. He thinks it should be able to stand on its own two feet as its own game. And I agree with him. I don't want to compare it to Silent Hills, especially because that game never came out. But this is different. These are the two guys that got everyone talking. These are the two guys that put horror back on the map again. Everyone was talking about PT, and everyone would have been talking about Silent Hills if it came out, but instead we were all talking about it for the wrong reasons, but we now have a reason to hold on to hope. There is a possibility that we can see the game that Silent Hills could have been if these two get together. Kojima Del Toro, if you guys are listening, please, please do not let anything get in your way. Get back Norman Reedus if you can, because I just think that would be hilarious. A great little kick in the nuts to Konami to show them that you are about 
horror. You want to make a good horror game, and we want a good horror game. I've played PT more times than, than are healthy, and I want to be able to see more. I want more from you guys. I want to see what you guys can do, because after seeing PT, I know they will deliver when their game comes. Whatever it might be, I'll be waiting. And when that game does come, I will be the first to play it on Koei Gaming. And speaking of Coed Gaming, make sure to check out the rest of Coed Gaming, where you can hear me scream at the top of my lungs in fury at Konami over Silent Hills, but also talking about Allison Road. Until then, game the fuck on! This game has to happen! What's up guys, thanks so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't gotten a chance to already, make sure to check out last week's video, which can be found right here. Also, if you haven't gotten a chance to already, make sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. And while you're at it, make sure to check out the rest of Coed Gaming, where we upload gaming videos every single week. And as always, game on.